Tonight, answering for crimes committed. After nearly two decades, authorities make arrests in a horrific child molestation case at Rock Manteca. And tonight, we're hearing from one of the detectives who brought renewed attention to the case. I mean, what made it special for me is they found them together. It gives me goosebumps. I can't, it's unbelievable. Police say William Balzer sexually abused two teens for years while their mother knew about it but did nothing to stop him. The case made national headlines eight years ago when the couple was featured on America's Most Wanted. Tonight, they're behind bars in Utah, and KCRA3's Claire Dewan spoke to the officer who helped solve this case. Much has changed on Helen Court in Manteca since 1998, but Dennis Gallupon remembers that day like yesterday when police identified his neighbor, William Lloyd Balzer, as a child molester. We all knew him. Everybody in the court knew him. My wife called me up and said the SWAT team came to the house and stopped, and, and they just fled probably minutes, half hour, whatever, before the SWAT team came in. Police say Balzer fled with his live-in girlfriend, Robin Robinson. The pair was wanted on a host of charges. According to detectives, him for molesting her then two teenage daughters hundreds of times. Her for knowing but not reporting the abuse. No excuse for it. Both of them should have the death penalty as far as I'm concerned. At one point, police say Balzer told detectives over the phone they would never catch him. Police say people spotted the couple in the Thunder Press magazine that same year. The daughters, it was brought to their attention, and they said, yeah, that's my mom. In 2007, Officer Steve Bierman pushed for the pair to be featured in America's Most Wanted. Leads came in, but did not pan out. But the case did allow Manteca police to move forward, asking the U.S. Marshals for help. On Wednesday, the Marshals found Balzer and Robinson in West Valley City, Utah. In talking to the victims, for 17 years they've been trying to forget this, and now they're going to have to remember and speak about it. Nearly two decades, such a long time that a lot of people have moved into this neighborhood, including the people who live at the home where the crimes allegedly occurred. So, what are your thoughts? It, it happened at this house. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm a little creeped out, right? <laughs> to be quite honest. Oh my goodness, I had no idea. Those in this neighborhood who weren't there in 1998 and those who do remember, all are glad the two have finally been caught. I think everybody is happy. We're elated to see that they're going to get their just dues. In Manteca, Claire Duan, KCRA 3 News. Bail now set at a million dollars for Balzer, and Robinson is not eligible for release. Both of them will appear in a Utah court for their extradition hearing next week so they can face trial here in California.